I'm Bill, the Vaso Medical the ECP guy, and today we're going to talk about cuff assembly. EECP cuffs come in six different sizes extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and double extra large. Colored piping is used to differentiate cuff sizes. Extra small cuffs have a yellow piping. Small cuffs have red piping. Medium cuffs have blue piping. Large has gray piping. Extra large has black piping. Double extra large has green piping. Cuff sizes are also indicated on the outside of the cuffs. The blue trimmed calf cuffs are used with the small, medium, and large upper thigh cuffs. Extra small and extra large calf cuffs are piped in corresponding colors. Cuff assembly instructions are provided on a plexi card which is attached to your EECP system. Bladders come in different sizes indicated on the package. To assemble the cuffs, unfold the cuff and fold the cuff over once again. Undo the hook and loop binding. Unfold the cuff and set it in place. Position the cuffs aligning the bladder inlets with the cuff inlet openings. Upper thigh buttocks bladders lie across the buttock with the bladder inlet facing the upper outer corner of the cuff. Lower thigh bladders are positioned to lie lengthwise at the inner aspect of the thigh with the bladder inlet at the center. Calf bladders lie lengthwise on the lower leg covering the calf muscle. The bladder is positioned inlet first with the bladder facing the cuff opening. Fold the upper thigh buttocks cuff in half, exposing the lining. Position the bladders for insertion. Open the hook and loop binding exposing the inside of the cuff. Take the upper thigh buttocks bladder and fold it in half, tacoing the bladder. Take the folded bladder and insert it into the cuff, aligning the bladder inlet with the cuff inlet opening. Push the bladder inlet through the cuff inlet opening. Fold the bladder out along the buttocks and flatten the bladder out. Take the lower thigh bladder and fold it into thirds, burritoing the bladder. Insert the bladder, making sure that the bladder lies lengthwise down the inner thigh. Push the bladder inlet through the cuff inlet opening.
Fold the bladder out and flatten. Be sure the bladder lies lengthwise down the thigh area. After inserting the bladders, check to make sure the bladders are lying flat without wrinkles or creases. Secure the binding and smooth out any wrinkles in the cuff lining. Repeat these steps on the opposite side of the cuff. Align the upper thigh buttock bladder with the cuff across the buttock area. Align the lower thigh bladder with the cuff lengthwise down the cuff. Open the hook and loop binding. Fold the upper thigh buttock bladder over. Insert the bladder. Insert the bladder inlet through the cuff inlet opening. Flatten the bladder. Fold the lower thigh bladder into thirds. Insert the lower thigh bladder, making sure it remains lengthwise down the inside of the cuff. Push the bladder inlet through the cuff inlet opening. Fold out the bladder and flatten all bladders out. Make sure there are no wrinkles or creases. Thigh cuff assembly is now complete. Turn over the calf cuff, exposing the calf cuff lining. Open the hook and loop binding. Insert the calf cuff bladder inlet first. Be sure the inlet is inserted first. Push the bladder inlet through the cuff inlet opening. Fold out the bladder, smoothing out all wrinkles and creases. Make sure the bladder faces the calf cuff opening. Close the hook and loop binding. The calf cuff is assembled. Repeat calf cuff assembly for the other calf cuff. Turn the calf cuff over. Open the hook and loop binding. Insert the calf cuff bladder inlet first. Push the bladder inlet through the cuff inlet opening. Smooth out all wrinkles and creases. Make sure the bladder faces the opening. Close the hook and loop binding.